Nomination day for the Aogang by-election will be on May 16th. The designated nomination centre is the Rangoon Junior College. Polling day will be on May 26th if more than one candidate is nominated. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Long broke the news on Wednesday on his Facebook page, marking his first major announcement via social media since he started the page in April. Explaining his decision, Mr. Lee said the by-election would give residents of the single-seat ward the chance to elect a new MP to serve them. The Aogang ward was left vacant after its former MP Yao Shin Long was expelled by the Workers' Party in February. PM Lee wrote, I encourage Aogang voters to use this opportunity wisely to elect the best candidate with commitment and integrity, someone they can rely upon to express their hopes and concerns, address their needs and make a real difference to their lives. He added that the Workers' Party and Mr. Yao had not given Singaporeans a full and proper account of what happened, and both the Workers' Party and Mr. Yao have let down all those who voted for him. He stressed that even though the Constitution does not require him to call a by-election within any fixed time frame, he decided to advise President Tony Tan Keng Yam to issue the writ of election on Wednesday morning, as he had said earlier in Parliament that he would call a by-election in Aogang. The Workers' Party has held the Aogang Ward since 1991, first by Workers' Party Secretary General Lao Tia Kiang and then Mr. Yao from last year. Mr. Yao was expelled from the party for refusing to account for alleged extramarital affairs. He has reportedly fled the country. For the by-election, the Workers' Party is likely to field 50-year-old Peng Eng Huat, an executive committee member who stood for last year's general election in East Coast GRC. The likely candidate for the People's Action Party is 34-year-old Desmond Chu. He heads the party branch there and this will be his second contest in Aogang. He lost to Mr. Yao last year with 35.2% of the vote.